few words I wanted to say to you. I haven't said, I haven't put up a video for a while. But what I want to say to everybody, especially in here as well, listen. One thing that I believe in, one thing you should never, ever do. Listen, everybody right now is cheating. Everybody. Okay. I've got one thing to say. You, as a woman, have no right to say that you love another woman's husband. You don't have that right. It's wrong. You don't have a right to destroy another woman's happy home. So at the end of the day, this is what I always say. You're there sleeping with a married man. This married man cannot give you a night. This married man can only give you a day. What does that say to you? What does that say? Let me tell you what that says. That man has no respect for you, none. He respects his wife more, too. He hides you in the daytime. That is three. He can't own you up for cheating causes a hell of a lot of problem. 2015, the women, they're very serious. They're not playing. They refuse to play. When it comes to their husbands, they're chopping. They're chopping you now at the end of the day. But I always say, if the man is going to go out there and cheat anyway, he's just as bad. I don't believe that the women should be chopping the woman. You need to be chopping the man. That's what you need to be doing, chopping the man. Amen. Because at the end of the day, if he didn't take the dick out there, he wouldn't have the problem anyway. Real talk. I'm telling you, he w it's disgusting at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, um, somebody asked me a question. I'm going to answer the question for you. You asked me if my husband went out and he was cheating and I found out, what would I do? Nothing. One. I don't do cockfight. Number two, excuse me, I ain't got no time for it. If my husband decides that he wants to cheat on me, good luck to him. But I'll tell you something now. Listen, life is too short. It is too goddamn short. Okay? Three, come on. Do I look like that I have to be arguing with a woman outside for what belongs to me inside, I ain't gonna do it. No. It's not worth the time. Hear what you do. Take him. Hear what, no, hear what? Exit. If that's what he wants to be doing, that's down to him. He's born with his parts. I'm born with my parts. Really do you talk. Me? I ain't got no time for this. Really talk, my sister. I really don't have any time for it. So anyway, you asked me the question. I've answered the question for you. Then you're asking me again. Say, for instance, his woman comes to my door. One, can happen. Cannot. Never. Never. Not in this life or the next one. Or the one after. Or even the one after, if God, if God lets me up. <laughs> okay. That's what I mean. I'm trying to answer as many questions as I can for you. You ask me, how do I manage to look the way I do? No stress. No stress. Self-maintained. I am self-maintained. I believe in self-love. I believe in self-respect. Everything that I do, I always do for me. I look after me. Because I'll tell you something now, if I don't look after me, who's going to look after me? No if one. I don't love me, who's going to love me? And if you don't love yourself, and you can't love no one else. There we go. That's my favorite word. Really if you, my sister. Love, you do not love yourself, you're not fit enough to love somebody else. Real talk, my sister. I have been loving myself from the get-go. Yeah, and listen, I look good. It kills a lot of people. It upsets a lot of people. But hey, what? So what? God never gave them the job to judge. They don't have a right to judge. You want to judge me? No problem. Go ahead and judge me. I don't care. Number one, I don't wear nobody's clothes. Number two, everything that I've got, I've had to earn that. I've earned it. Okay. 
I've upset a lot of women. So what? If you don't want to hear the truth, that's your business. Exit. Exit? My favorite word, exit. I'm not asking anybody to listen to me. You don't have to. But I'm what you call experience on top of what? Experience. experience. Been there, done it. What a teacher. I've got the, what a teacher. I've even got book certificates. Book DVD. I've got the books, the DVDs. I can tell you anything you want to hear. Oh, yeah. Because I don't mind telling you. And you put it all down now. There we go. It's all down. I leave it to the other one, the other women that want to go out there and think that it's okay. It's okay to go out there and disrespect another woman. It's not. They're disrespecting themselves. Because at the end of the day, hear what you want to hear what you say? You're disrespecting yourself. You're not disrespecting the woman in the house. You're disrespecting your goddamn self. Real talk. Do you understand me? It don't make you more of a woman sleeping less. with somebody else's man. It makes you less. It makes you less of a woman. It don't make you it don't make you any better than the one that's in the house. Because no. the man is going back to the one that's in the house. Okay? So at the end of the day, you are. Know you need to be checked. Check yourself. Check yourself. You need a reality check. Do you understand me? You better start checking from Monday to Sunday. Start checking what you're doing. That's if some of them know the days are Do you week. understand me? I'll tell you something now. Any woman that's going to say she's going to lie down with somebody else's man. Hey, you're going to get checked. Believe me. You're going to get checked. Proper too. Believe me. And when it comes to me, you know, I believe in real talk. I only do real talk. That is all I do. I keep it real. I 100%. Keep it moving. I keep that shit moving. Do you understand what I'm saying? I ain't got no time. I'm not going to be lying there around with sharing a man. For what? I don't have to. Share a man for what? Rather me share a man. Exit. I ain't sharing a goddamn dick. Are you crazy? The door is there. There we go. Exit. Exit. Any day named day. That I find that I have to share a man. That's the day I stop tech man. Do you understand me? Share a man for what? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? For what? So listen to me. I am tired. I'm, I'm going through all of my messages and all my blogs. I'm going through all of it. These women are asking me questions left, right and centre. I can only answer as I'm going along. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing these videos and I'm going to be asking, answering your questions as I'm going along by video. I'm going to let you know. You're asking me questions. Ooh, how do you look good? Hey, when I go to bed at night time, I go to bed with a clean heart and a clear head. When I go to bed at night time, I'm not going to bed with somebody's mind. You go to bed pretty, you wake so There pretty. we go. I don't go to bed with crinks or rinks. I don't. Okay. When I wake up in the morning, I wake up the same way I went to bed the night before. Okay. I am blessed. Stress free. Stress free. And I keep it real. And I believe that some of you, most of you women, need to check yourself. You need to be checked. You think that it's nice that you, 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 know, you stand up on my stage and then you be standing there saying that it's okay to sleep with somebody else's man? Are you crazy? You don't have no respect for yourself. There is no respect. There's none. I don't know what it is with you women today. What the hell is going on with you women? Because I know back in my day this shit weren't happening. Because what's happening is you're doing this shit and you're being up front with it as well. But hear what? You're going to be sleeping with somebody else, somebody's man. But remember, not every woman is going to take that shit. They will check your ass. They will check your ass and check your ass serious. Do you understand what I'm saying? So listen to me. When you're writing to me, when you're putting up messages for me, listen, check yourself. You need to really check yourself and know what you're saying. Because no, listen, Lady Elegance, I am not going to uphold the bullshit. I will never uphold bullshit. Never. It's wrong what you're doing. It is wrong. You're coming into 2016 shortly. So is that how you're going to go into 2016 with somebody else's man? And you think that it's okay? You think it's nice? 
Do you what? What does that make you? What does what does that make you? That don't make you no more of a woman. It doesn't. That man has no respect for you. Cause you're not getting a night. From a man don't give you a goddamn night, he's telling you. He's not going to upset his happy home. That is what he's telling you. Okay? So if you wanna be the side chick, why would you wanna be somebody's side chick? Why? Or the side fall. Why would you want to be those things? Why? Come on, man. Check yourself. Come on. Check yourself. Because I listen to me. If you've got self-love or even some self-respect for yourself, you're not going to be doing it. You just do it for the sake of doing it. I'm finding that the girls of these women today, you're doing it just so you can hype on the wife. Are you crazy? Hype on the wife? Are you crazy? And then when you hype on the wife, you're not going to get the husband, you're not going to get the man you're sleeping with anyway, because he's going to side with the wife. You've done wrong. What are you getting out of being the side chick? What are you getting? Because I can assure you he's not minding you half as what he's doing in the house. He's going to have to put everything down in the house. What are you getting? What left? Sex. Well, sex. I would rather... They make love. You make love to me, honey. You see what I'm saying? Straight. So when you're out on the road, what? So you think because he's out on the road and you're giving, put it this way. Let me tell you what's happening. You see the nastiness and the bullshit that we as wives inside the house won't do. He's coming out on the road and getting it from the side chick. Yeah. Because he knows. Can't bring it to them. Can't bring it to us. He cannot. He cannot bring it to us. I'm hearing some shit. You're putting some bullshit down, I'm telling you. And you want me to be answering. Well, let me answer it for you. I'm going to answer it for you because you know I'm going to keep this shit real. Okay? You see all the bullshit and all the nastiness that you're going to be doing on the outside. We're wives. We're not going to be doing it. Don't need to. We don't need to, honey. We don't need to. I've seen some shit. You've put some shit up on my blogs. You understand what I'm saying? You've got sex. And you've got... Making love. Making love. I will take the making love any day. I don't want the sex, baby. Leave the sex for you. <laughs> the sex? Well. <laughs> <laughs> you can have the sex, baby. You're free. Have the sex. Because listen to me. I don't want no man sexy me. I want a man to be making love to me. So, wouldn't you want the same? Would you not want the same as a woman? Why would you want to be a side chick? For what reason? Come on, what reason? Have you not got no self-respect for yourself? Do you not have no self-confidence in yourself? No. Good God, man. You don't. This is terrible. This is really bad. This is not even bad, this is disgusting. Not only that, most of the women, they're boasty. But hear what? You're taking a man's things and you know you don't want to be with him. Then when he turns around and busts your ass, then you want to know why he's doing it. If you don't want the man, don't take his things. Real talk. This is coming to be really serious. I mean, even down to the day, today, I did a session with a woman. The whole of her face is busted. Come on, man. She's walking around. She's taking these things. She's giving these men false promises. And they bust her ass. Okay? Now... Obviously, he's going to be very abusive towards you. You can't be doing that. This is some serious time. Some serious time. Here what? I'm going to end this on one note, yeah? Listen. You've got to look at your life and keep this shit moving. One. Leave a married man alone. Two. If a man has got his woman, you exit. Number three. Check yourself. Four. Self-love and self-respect is two very important things for a woman. And if you do not have any self-respect, if you do not have any self-love, boy, you're done. You are done. Finito. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's sad. It is sad. Why should you want to be so proud of yourself that you're lying with somebody's man? Come on. And you're being up, you've been very boasty and being up front. 
But hey, you're not the upfront woman, lady. The wife is. The wife is the upfront woman. Yeah? The wife is the one that has the claims. Not you. The wife. You cannot claim this man. This man is already spoken for. This man has already walked down the aisle with this woman already. He's already taken. He's taken, honey. So you stand no chance out and there. And I'm going to finish this on a note saying, stop loving a man that does not belong to you. And I can then only, I'm the only thing I can say to you as well, you know? Hmm. Real talk, amen to you all.